Now this is definitely one we don't see every day down here at the boat ramp and these guys came in on one motor so I think they might be having some motor troubles but this is definitely one heck of a pullout down here at Boynton. And oh, we've got the two-handed assist right off the bat. Welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I am your host Broncos Guru in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats and it's another Wavy Guru production back down here at the marina. And today we are visiting Boynton. Now let's see how our man handles this back up after the two-handed assist. I mean, he's got the entire ramp, so it shouldn't be that hard here. He's got all three lanes. There's no line waiting. He could kind of do whatever he wants right here. He probably just needs to send this one back down. Yet he's going the one direction he can't go. Well, we're going to see it again. Another two-handed assist. You gotta love these aluminum trailers. <laughs> At least they're light enough to be able to do it. I mean, he's got all three lanes. He should be able to just back this one in now. I, mean, I guess it's a little more difficult in a car. You don't quite have the same perspective as you might in an SUV or a truck, but I mean, either, any which way, you're not gonna be able to see this trailer, so. But it looks like, yeah, he's got it figured out this time and he'll get it back down there. These guys are coming in a little hot. Give us a little speed check here. Still got a little forward momentum, but I think we're gonna be all right. I mean, he's got it lined up pretty good. Well, I should do another little speed check, but we're gonna let it ride. He's gonna tie it off. Yep, should have done that speed check. Oh, man, it's actually coming in a little harder than I thought it should. Almost looked like he's in gear. It doesn't appear to be in gear, especially now that I see him pulling on it. But, man, that one came in hot. And we got us a little smoking tire action. Just don't have it quite centered right probably on the trailer. And that's going to cause some headaches for him. These guys are going to do the normal work and go ahead and back down and see if we can get a little bit of a running start. This this boat ramp with the cobblestone here as well makes it a little more difficult. We see a little bit more slippage here than we do at a lot of the other ramps we're at. Here we go. Gets the run and go. Is he going to get it up there? And it looks like he's going to get a little success, but there's one major problem here. And this boat is crooked as all get out. And he's probably going to have to redrop this just to get it fixed. And here comes our crew. He's missing the trailer a little bit. Oh, oh, and there goes the wheel fender. Oh, he hit that one good. But overall, it looks like he's on here now. So it was just the initial miss. And after that, he's going to power load this right up there. And some of you may have seen those memes where the guy talks about he sent it a little too hard. Well, this guy is the definition of that. He definitely sent it up there, that's for sure. And I got a feeling he's going to be stuck here for a few minutes because he doesn't appear to be getting anywhere. I mean, he's here with this crew. Let's see if these guys are going to come back down here and give him a hand. Because, I mean, he full sent it straight up onto this thing. I mean, like, this is not even, like, not even close. And our guy's struggling. He's starting off by starting with the wrong end anyway. What he really needs to do is he needs to get the nose or the bow of his jet ski and get that turned around and start pointing it out toward water. It's a whole lot easier to point from there. If you guys ever get yourself stuck in a situation like this, that's the one thing to try and remember. If you try pulling from the stern of your ski or boat, a lot of times you're just going to dig it in further. What you really need to do is get that bow pointed in the direction you want to pull this thing out and start pulling from there. Obviously in a boat, that's a whole lot more difficult than in this situation of a jet ski. But... Our guys are going to learn real quick. Huh? I think he's going to give up here. And Yep, there we go. We're enlisting the friends to see if we can get a little assistance. It's 
crazy to think he got it up there that far though. I'll tell you what, we've seen people struggle with the jet ski trailers today. I mean, I've got one clip that's six minutes. It literally took a guy six minutes to back his jet ski trailer. Oh, this guy's gonna hit the ramp. Oh, he stopped it, I think, right before he hit it. If not, they lightly touched one of the two, but man, it's been a struggle down here today. The old dock blocker back in full effect, and it is catching people off guard today. Oh, our guy's gonna try and power off, but uh, I don't think that one's gonna work, and you're probably gonna be out swimming here in a few moments, buddy, and having to push yourself off this one. And our crew has finally got the help they think they needed enlisted. And they kind of got the right pattern here. I mean, they're finally trying to go toward the bow of the jet ski. Um, but even with the two of them, man, it's just he sent it. <laughs> he, he did the full send, and now he's paying the price. I mean, most people don't think about that. You know, when you send something, you think, oh, this is going to be fun. And not realizing that a lot of times there is some kind of price you're going to have to pay later for this. Oh, now we're going backwards. We got a little bit of momentum going. I'm telling you now, if both of you guys were on the front of this, it would be a whole lot easier. But hey, whatever you got to do to get it floating and get yourself back on the water, guys. But they look exhausted already. Worn out, even with the two of them. Got to be thinking about getting a line to one of those other skis and just pulling this thing out. And it looks like... Yep, we've got another smoker over here to the left. And he is struggling to get this thing out, and they aren't going to make it. So we're going to have to back down and see if we can get ourselves a running start on this one. And our captain, I mean, he's checking the boat. So this is one of the few times I see somebody actually kind of doing this correctly. He's seeing if the boat's on the trailer correctly, maybe trying to reweight it and see if they can, you know, get this thing out. But everything appears to be fine, according to the captain's eyes here, so... Oh, if he's getting on the boat, I think we're about to see a power out. These are one of my favorite things. I, I'm surprised. I've never seen one of these live until, you know, we started doing these boat ramp channels, and all of a sudden, <laughs> we've seen a bunch of them in the last couple weeks. Here goes our guy, they're gonna go ahead and give it one more pull and he's got the power on and up and at and they're gonna make it on out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're gonna get out of here as well. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, be sure to check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats who gets us a bunch of great images and content down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos as well. And of course we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here as well.